District 2, Marcy Francisco. District 3, Tom Holland. District 4, David Haley. District 5, Jeff Pittman. District 6, Pat Petty. District 7, Ethan Corson. District 8, Cindy Holcher. District 9, Beverly Gossage. District 10, Mike Thompson. District 11, Kelly Warren. District 12, Karen Tyson. District 13, Richard Hildebrand. District 14, Michael Fagg. District 15, Virgil Peck. District 16, Ty Masterson. District 17, Jeff Longbine. District 18, Kristen O'Shea. District 19, Rick Kluse. District 20, Brenda Dietrich. District 21, Dinah Sykes. District 22, Tom Hawk. District 23, Rob Olson. District 24, J.R. Clays. District 25, Mary Ware. District 26, Dan Kirshen. District 27, Jean Sullentrop. District 28, Mike Peterson. District 29, Oletha Faust-Godot. District 30, Renee Erickson. District 31, Carolyn McGinn. District 32, Larry Alley. District 33, Alicia Straub. District 34, Mark Steffen. District 35, Rick Wilborn. District 36, Elaine Bowers. District 37, Molly Baumgartner. District 38, Ron Reichman. District 39, John Dahl. District 40, Rick Billinger. Senators and your guests, please rise and give prayerful attention to the guest chaplain, Doug Hinkle. Would you join me in prayer? Heavenly Father, I praise and thank you for this body you have brought together in this new year of 2022. Thank you for each senator here, each one brought to this chamber, not by accident or luck, but by your divine appointment to be about the business of the state of Kansas. I pray, pray that you'd bless each senator today and throughout this legislative session with your wisdom and insight as they debate the legislation before them. I lift up President Masterson, Majority Leader Alley, and Minority Leader Sykes to you. Give them your direction as they lead this chamber. I pray for unity and friendly relations as the issues of the day are argued and resolved. I pray for our governor. Give her your wisdom and your direction as she leads the executive branch of our state's government. Father, bless and protect the families of the members of this chamber as they are separated from one another much of the time during this session. I pray the time they do have with loved ones is rich and filled with warmth and gracious support. Lord, we ask you for your peace in this chamber and thank you for the hope that we have in you. In Jesus' name, amen. The introduction of original motions. No, introduction, yeah, introduction of original motions. Clerk will read. Senate Resolution 1722 by Senators Masterson, Alley, and Sykes. A resolution relating to the organization of the Senate, be it resolved by the Senate of the State of Kansas, that the Secretary of the Senate notify the House of Representatives that the Senate is organized with the following officers. Ty Masterson, President. Rick Wilborn, Vice President. Larry Alley, Majority Leader. Dinah Sykes, Minority Leader. Corey Carnahan, Secretary. Don Cackler, Sergeant at Arms. 
and awaits the pleasure of the House of Representatives. This constitutes introduction of SR 1722. Chair recognizes the Majority Leader from Cali, Senator Alley. Mr. Leader, I move an emergency be declared, the rules suspended, and SR 1722 be adopted by voice vote. You've heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Introduction of bills and concurrent resolutions. Clerk will read. Senate Bill 316 by Senator Fausgado, an act concerning zoning and planning. Senate Bill 317 by Senator Fausgado, an act concerning driver's license. Senate Bill 318 by Senators Bowers, Billinger, and Tyson, an act concerning sales and compensating use tax. Senate Bill 319 by Senator Haley, an act concerning property taxation. Senate Bill 320, by Joint Committee on Corrections and Juvenile Justice Oversight, an act concerning evidence-based programs. Senate Bill 321, by Joint Committee on Corrections and Juvenile Justice Oversight, an act concerning the revised Kansas Juvenile Justice Code. Senate Bill 322, by Joint Committee on Pensions, Investments, and Benefits, an act concerning state property. This constitutes introduction of SB 316 through SB 322. Messages from the governor, Clerk will read. To the Senate of the State of Kansas, submitted herewith for confirmation by the Senate are appointments made by me as the governor of the State of Kansas pursuant to law. Member, Public Employer, Public Employee Relations Board, Jonathan Gilbert. Member, Kansas Development Finance Authority, Manika Holloway. Member, CD2 Banker, State Banking Board, Taylor Height. Regent, Kansas Board of Regents, Wint Winter Jr. Regent, Kansas Board of Regents, Dr. Cynthia Lane. Regent, Kansas Board of Regents, Carl Ice. Shawnee County Attorney Member, State Board of Indigence Defense Services, Michelle Ewart. Johnson County Attorney Member, State Board of Indigence Defense Services, Braden Perry. Public Member, Seat 15, KU Hospital Authority, Board of Directors, Jack Newman. CDI, or CD1 Attorney Member, State Board of Indigence Defense Services, Laura Laurel Michael Driscoll. Member, Kansas Development Finance Authority, Chris Donnelly. Public member number eight, KU Hospital Authority Board of Directors, Debbie Wilkerson. Member Kansas Development Finance Authority, John Small. Brigadier General, Kansas National Guard, Colonel Jason Nelson. Member Real Estate Industry Rep, Kansas Human Rights Commission, Jill Green. Member Governor's Appointee, Capers Board of Trustees, Joe Yun. Director, Kansas Commission on Veterans Affairs Office, General Bill Turner. Member, Licensed Appraiser, State Board of Tax Appeals, Devin Sprecher. Member, CD3 Member, Kansas Racing and Gaming Commission, Cheryl Spaulding. Member, Public Member, Public Employee Relations Board, Pat Young. Laura Kelly, Governor. This constitutes introduction of those appointments previously read. Communications from state officers. Clerk will read. Dear President Masterson, during the 2021 interim, I received the reports and communications listed below. This list will appear in the January 10th, 2022 Senate Journal. Sincerely, Corey Carnahan, Secretary of the Senate. These reports will be on file with the Secretary of the Senate and available for review at any time. Good timing. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Jennifer McKinney. Thank you for standing. President of Kansas Academy of Family Physicians. Dr. McKinney is a family physician in her hometown of Fredonia. In addition to her service to the community, Dr. McKinney was named the 2021 Rural Health Practitioner of the Year. The Academy sponsors the Doctor of the Day program and provides daily assistance for health concerns here in the capital. 
Please join me in thanking Dr. McKinney and the Academy for providing this outstanding service. So, Chamber, we're expecting a message from the House. So we're going to have to actually stand at ease for just a minute. We're expecting the two resolutions of organization from them. So the Senate will be at ease.
adoption of H.R. 6020, a resolution relating to the organization of the 2020 House of Rep 2022 House of Representatives and selection of the following officers. Ron Reichman, Speaker of the House. Blaine Finch, Speaker Pro Tem. Dan Hawkins, Majority Leader. Tom Sawyer, Minority Leader. Susan Kennar, Chief Clerk. Foster Chisholm, Sergeant at Arms, and awaits the pleasure of the Senate. Announcing adoption of H.R. 5020, a concurrent resolution relating to the committee to a committee to wait upon the governor and advisor of the 2022 session of the legislature is duly organized and ready to receive communication. The secretary of the Senate and chief clerk of the House were appointed as to wait upon the governor. Announcing adoption of H.R. 5021, a concurrent resolution providing for joint session of the Senate and House of Representatives for the purpose of hearing a message from the governor and for the purpose of hearing a message from the Supreme Court. The following escorts are appointed for the state of the state. To escort the governor, Representatives Hawkins, Williams, and Wolfmore. To escort the Lieutenant Governor, Representatives Landwehr, Adams, Smith, and Benson. To escort the Supreme Court, Representatives Clays, Humphreys, and Shu. To escort the Senate, Representatives Erickson, Lynn, and Stodzgal. For the state of the judiciary, to escort the Supreme Court, Representatives Ralph, Barker, and Byers. To escort the Senate, Representatives Arnberger, Concanon, and Susan Ruiz. This constitutes introduction of HCR 5020 and HCR 5021. Chair recognizes the Majority Leader from Cali, Senator Alley. I move an emergency be declared, the rules suspended, and HCR 5020 be adopted by voice vote. You've heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. In compliance with HCR 5020, the Secretary of the Senate will notify the governor the legislature is organized. Chair recognizes the Majority Leader from Cali, Senator Alley. I move an emergency be declared. The rules suspended and HCR 5021 be adopted by voice vote. You've heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, no. Motion's adopted. In compliance with HCR 5021, I appoint the following. To escort the governor, Senator from Johnson, Senator Gossage, Senator from Wyandotte, Senator Petty. To escort the lieutenant governor, Senator from Sedgwick, Senator Erickson, and Senator from Douglas, Senator Holland. To escort the Supreme Court for the state of the state. Chair recognizes or appoints Senator from Johnson, Senator Warren, and Senator from Johnson, Senator Corson. To escort the Supreme Court for the state of the judiciary. Chair appoints Senator from Johnson, Senator Warren, and Senator from Wyandotte, Senator Haley. Please remember to contact the Secretary of the Senate to collect a guest ticket for the Governor's State of the State address. For those, as an announcement for those senators attending the State of the Judiciary, meet in the Senate Chamber at 1.10 tomorrow, so we can walk over to the House as a group. And for the State of the State, we will meet in the Chamber at 6 p.m. tomorrow to walk over as a group as well. Are there announcements? Senator from McPherson. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I just would like to announce and remind everybody the uh, Senate Redistricting Committee will meet Wednesday the 12th at 2.30 p.m. in four, 548 South. Any further announcements? Seeing none, Chair recognizes Majority Leader, Senator Alley. Move the Senate adjourn performa until 8 a.m. Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. You've heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Senate's adjourned. <laughs>